Beautiful. Peanut butter sandwiches. We're gonna go make some tea and then follow up by eggs. And where are we going tomorrow, Madeleine? Ameti Somea. See, I got hard to pronounce the name because I can't. But I don't know what we're doing. I just heard it's nice, so. Yeah, we're going with the flow. Um, every single day, mostly. We don't have anything actually planned. So we're just kind of driving the destinations. I think we're attracted to the beauty in nature mostly, more than anything. So I think that's why we're on vacation right now to get a nice little break. And my uh, time to kind of just refresh, to be honest. And that's her bed for tonight. So that's a wrap. Good night. Oh, yeah! Bit of Spanish music. Kickstarts. Our next day. Quebec. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gents, we're gonna get the ferry right now. From Forestville to Rimouski. Forestville, yeah. She knows all the names of the locations, so she can give you an insight on what's going on right now. So what are we doing? Yeah, so we're driving right now from Tadoussac to Forestville. It's kind of a one-hour drive. Uh, so we stay the night in Tadoussac. Thank you, Sac. It's pretty nice. Um, it's a beautiful, there's a beautiful coastal line. Um, there's a really nice beach to visit, there's nice restaurants where you can grab food. Um, it's a really nice, you know, atmosphere. So, I'd probably recommend two nights there. So we're staying in a minivan, a uh, Volkswagen Rutan. Yeah. And we got on Toro. I'd highly recommend it because we don't have to stay in a hotel or hostel, just, block, just make a... You know, a little nice setup back here with a blow up mattress. We have quite a mess back here though, but it's okay, it's doable. Um, you sleep very well, it's quite peaceful as well. But if you don't like to stay in a, in a minivan, you can also just rent a normal car, uh, get a tent, and there are so many uh, campsites here around in that area. So you can just easily uh, go on a campsite with your tent and it works as well. But it's September right now and it's it can be quite chilly in the morning so um, I'd probably recommend staying in the in the minivan over the tent in September. But in the summertime of course, stay in the tent, yeah. enjoy, go wild. But yeah, the weather is still nice, we have a sunny day. I think it's a really good time to avoid the uh, holiday crowd in August because like the Quebec people they have all like holidays in August so and they love camping so it can be quite busy in, in August. Now well, the kids are going back to school, so yeah. We're going to get the ferry now to our next destination, which is... Forestville. Forestville. Oh, we're, we're leaving from Forestville though. Yeah, Forestville to Rimouski. Where? Rimouski. Rimouski. <laughs> Sounds, Sounds Russian. Russian. <laughs> Rimouski. Okay, we'll see you on the ferry, guys. Let's go, Mado, let's go, Mado, let's go. Let's do this, let's do this.
dinner time. Poutine with a nice beautiful salmon salad with prawns. After a nice productive day, it's well needed. Isn't that right, Madeline? Why is that now? Because we did so much. I did, but we did enough. Yeah. We've seen the Botanica Gardens, which you've seen. Um, we also just found a nice little spot for our minivan which is also free, we're gonna stay in the minivan beside the lake, or beside the sea, I mean, while we enjoy the sunset. So we travelled from Rimouski to Grand Mitis, Quebec, where we saw the Botanica Gardens and right beside it was our overnight camping spot, which we found through High Overlander. The spot where we ate poutine, seen the sunset and walked along the beach. It was really beautiful. From there we travelled from Grand Mitis to Mont Albert, in which it was actually a bank holiday that day. So basically everything was closed and we ran out of food, so we had to downgrade to bad quality food from a gas station on the way. When we arrived, we just relaxed along the river and had an early night. We paid for camping at that specific time, which cost around $25 a night. While sleeping at Mont Albert, the rain came down heavy that night. The next morning, we had an over a bad overcast. So the mountains were full of clouds, but we still took the chance to hike to the top. The weather cleared up and we had a really good day. And we got very lucky with the sunshine from above and we seen the mountains from the top, which was really, really beautiful. So our journey continues in the next episode. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>